Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review we are looking at the Figma Archetype Next She. This is the blank female figure to go with the male figure. Again, we don't have any paint work and we have some sculpt work and she's a different color. I mentioned the other guy was a little bit uh, kind of orangey, not quite flesh toned and this one's really pale. So I guess, I mean obviously there are some people that will match this flesh tone. I don't think it's the best choice, but it's not bad, so it's okay. So yeah, this is the female version of the new Figma blank body, and it's okay. It's got some good things and some bad things, so we'll talk about all of that. So let's get it off the stand and take a closer look. This figure stands just about 13, a little bit over 13 centimeters, just by the tiniest bit, and that makes her just about five and a quarter inches. So she's a little bit shorter and obviously rather petite. And like I mentioned before, the figure arts didn't have the kind of anatomy I wanted. Not that I needed them to be hyper-realistic, but I wanted some muscle definition. These figures do have it. This one has a lot less than the male. You really only get definition in the abs. Everything else is pretty tubular. You get a little bit of butt cheek action and a little bit of abs. Even the boobages don't have really that much definition, so it just doesn't have the definition I wanted. Doesn't have it. The face has a little bit more definition, but that is just by the tiniest of margins. And to me, the head still looks really small. In fact, the proportions all around look really weird. I don't know how many of you have any uh, extensive knowledge of the female body, the anatomy, not in a sexual way, of course, just in general. That's not what they look like. Most people don't have this kind of really skinny, narrow body with rather long, thick arms. If you look at her bicep and her abdomen, look at that. The, the, the thickness isn't that much different. Her arms are very thick relatively, and her torso is very narrow relatively. Uh, really no, none of that hourglass shape. Uh, the only part where she actually has any thickness is in the shoulders. Her hips are relatively narrow, which is weird because Figma likes to put wide hips on male figures. I figured the female one would have them too, but that's not really the case. It's just overall very strange looking. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't look right to me really in any way. Uh, even even where the hips do come out a little bit, they go back in, and then, then the legs come out from that in kind of an, o an offset kind of inward peg rather than coming out to the... I don't know. It just looks weird, guys. I don't know. It's not terrible, obviously. It's okay. Once you pose it, it'll look better, but it just doesn't look the way I wanted it to. I want it to look a little bit more like, like an anatomy study so that you could pose it and use that for reference, but it, you just can't do that. It doesn't look realistic, really. At all, And then if you look at how thick the uh, lower arms are, where they come toward the wrist, she's got very thick wrists, especially in relation to her uh, forearms and biceps. It just does not look right at all. Very disappointing. Anyway, she does have a couple accessories. She has the two fist hands that come on her in the package, the two loose hands, and then two gripping slash maybe trigger finger hands, depending on how you use them. And then, of course, we have the Figma display stand. And that's it. No more accessories. So very minimal figure, very minimal accessories, no paint job at all, obviously. The plastics do all match, though, so that's a good thing. Now, in terms of articulation, she's just like the male figure. Not really a whole lot to talk about, but we can anyway. We have the straight peg, ball hinge, ball peg combination for the neck, or for the upper neck. The lower neck is another ball hinge with straight pegs, so you can move her head around. It's not, uh, I don't know, it comes off at a weird angle still. She almost looks alien-like. In, in most cases, it's gonna be hard to pose her and have it look right, because you see the way the neck goes into the head it comes goes in very forward rather than in the back. And I don't know if you guys know this, but your neck is connected mostly to the back of your head, and then your jawline sticks forward. You don't have that much bulbousness on the back of your head, unless you're looking at a robot. And these are not supposed to be robots, so that's not great. We have the ball peg, ball hinge, straight peg combination for the bicep, but the way they have it, uh, it's it's a little bit well more a little bit well more a little bit more well hidden than the male. That still sounds weird. I said that wrong. I need more sleep, uh, but it, it's not great because the bicep swivel it's there, but I don't know. There's no real anatomy there. It's just a big tube of plastic. Really, it's not terrible, but it's not bad. It's not great. It's very in the middle, I guess. You have a single joint for the elbow, which does give good range, so that's okay. And you have a ball hinge for the wrist, which gives some range, even though she has a really fat wrist because of it. It's there. For the torso, as you can see, it's totally segmented and looks terrible. The torso joint is just not good. You get really good range out of it, but if that's your only goal, you've accomplished it. If you wanted it to look good and have good range, then forget about it, because it looks terrible. 
I mean, it's totally segmented, both in the actual articulation and just the way it sits there. It does not look like a human. <laughs> it's very segmented, looks like a thorax on a bug or something, different segments, just doesn't look great. Lower ball peg works well enough, so that's okay, I guess. The crotch piece is a floating piece to allow for some better range, but as I said, the way it's all connected, it just doesn't look right. These hips do not look like it's all one continuous piece, and it should. It just does not look great. We have the ball pegs with the sockets, so you get decent enough range. You can rotate the thigh around those sockets, so that's pretty good. You can bring the legs out to the side pretty far. That's not bad at all. That's a good thing. They actually look better posed like that than in any other pose, which... I don't see that much use for. I mean, unless you only want to pose in karate kicks, you're going to be pretty limited. And then for the knees, they look a little bit better than the male because they don't have that really awkwardly sculpted kneecap on top. So you actually use the, um, mostly use the hinge as the kneecap and it doesn't look terrible and you get pretty good range. So I like that. The knees are pretty good on this figure. You do get a little bit of a kneecap up on the thigh part, but it's not so pronounced as the males. So it looks a little better. And then for the ankles, they look a little bit better on this figure too. You still get decent range. The ankle rocker is almost non-existent though, so they kind of screwed that up. Having that peg go into the foot at such a steep angle and then having the ankle so thick relatively, you can't really pose it too much. As far as the toes go, same problem as the male. It's there, it's functional, but it just does not work anatomically at all. So for a blank figure that's supposed to look like a human body, the anatomy is really off. And the articulation doesn't help it in most cases. So ultimately, I'm going to have to say these might suffice if you really want blank figures with some anatomy, but they're still really off and not great. And pretty much like the figure arts ones, they're, they're good and bad. It really depends what you're looking for. I'm not super fond of them because I wanted them to be more, like I said, like an anatomy study rather than just a figure that looks kind of like a robot that looks like a human pretending to be a robot. I don't know, it's just, it's not great. So I, I would say I would pass personally, but they're not that expensive. So if you really want, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up and now you have the information to decide if you do. So there you go. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe. I have new videos up every single day. So make sure you come back for those. And in the meantime, keep collecting.